Learn English with fun rain idioms. Master everyday phrases fast. John stood by the window, watching as a single raindrop hit the glass. He knew what would happen next. More drops would follow, and soon, the rain would cover everything. Here it comes again, he whispered. In the UK, the weather was always changing. But one thing never changed. The rain. His phone beeped. It was a message from his cousins, Emily and Paul, who lived in Canada. What is the weather like in June? They asked. John smiled as he read the message. How could he explain the weather in the UK? It could be sunny in the morning, then rainy in the afternoon. John typed quickly. It's hard to say. Sometimes it's warm, and sometimes it's cold. You should bring both a jacket and a raincoat. You will need them. He pressed send and laughed. His cousins had no idea what the weather in the UK was like. It was always full of surprises. John looked back at the window. The rain was now falling faster. It's raining cats and dogs, he thought. That was one of his favorite sayings about the rain. It meant the rain was very heavy. Of course, there were no real cats or dogs falling from the sky. In the UK, people often talked about the weather. It changed many times during the day. But people also used the word rain in many expressions. John thought about how strange it was. Rain could mean more than just water falling from the sky. John smiled as he remembered another phrase, come rain or shine. It meant that you would do something no matter what. Rain, sun, or snow, it didn't matter. I will visit my cousins come rain or shine, John thought. He knew that no weather could stop him. The rain outside slowed down a little. John sat by the window, thinking. There were so many sayings about rain. Another one came to his mind. It never rains, but it pours. This one meant that when one bad thing happens, more bad things follow. John thought of a time when everything went wrong. His bike broke, then he lost his wallet, and later his phone died. It never rains, but it pours, he said to himself. Sometimes, life was like that, full of surprises, but not always good ones. Another funny saying popped into John's mind. Save it for a rainy day. His mother used to say that to him. It meant saving money or something important for a time when you really need it. John liked this saying. It was always good advice. John thought of his savings. He had been putting some money away, just in case. I'm saving it for a rainy day, he thought. That way, if anything unexpected happened, he would be ready. His mother's advice had been very helpful over the years. The rain outside finally stopped. John looked up at the sky. It was still cloudy, but now it seemed calmer. I hope the weather stays nice, he thought. His cousins would be arriving soon, and he wanted to show them around the city. John grabbed his phone again and sent a message. I'm really looking forward to seeing you both. Don't forget your raincoats, though. The weather here is always tricky. He smiled as he hit send, thinking about how unpredictable the weather could be. His cousins replied quickly. We're excited too. We're ready for anything, even the rain. John laughed. He knew they were joking, but they didn't yet understand the kind of rain that could come. The UK rain wasn't like rain in other places. John remembered another idiom. Right as rain. It meant feeling good and healthy. If someone had been sick but was better now, they might say, I feel right as rain. It was a funny phrase, but people used it often in the UK. John thought about his own health. He had felt a little tired the last few days, but now he felt better. I'm feeling right as rain, he thought. He hoped that he would stay healthy while his cousins were visiting. He wanted to make the most of their time together. John thought of another phrase he often used. Take a rain check. It was something people said when they couldn't do something now, but wanted to do it later. For example, if a friend invited you to dinner, but you were busy, you could say, I'll take a rain check. This phrase originally came from sports. If a game was canceled because of rain, fans were given a rain check, a ticket to come back another time. Now, people use the phrase in everyday life, not just for sports, but for any plans they want to postpone. John looked at the clock. 
his cousins would be arriving in a few hours. He decided to take a quick walk outside, now that the rain had stopped. As he stepped outside, he breathed in the fresh air. The streets were still wet, but the rain had made everything smell clean. As John walked through the city, he thought about another idiom, rain on someone's parade. This meant to spoil someone's plans or happiness. If you were really excited about something and someone gave you bad news, you might say, you're raining on my parade. John remembered a time when this happened to him. He was planning a surprise birthday party for a friend, but another friend told everyone about the surprise too soon. You really rained on my parade, John had joked. They all laughed about it later. As John continued his walk, the sky began to clear. He could see a few patches of blue between the clouds. Maybe it won't rain again today, he thought. But in the UK, you could never be too sure. The weather changed quickly, often without warning. John reached the park. It was still quiet after the rain. Only a few people were walking around, enjoying the fresh air. He sat on a bench, thinking about how much the weather influenced life in the UK. Rain was always part of the conversation. John loved talking about the weather with people. It was always a good topic to start a conversation. And in the UK, there was always something to say about the rain. It was more than just water falling from the sky. It was part of everyday life. John checked his phone. His cousins had just landed and were on their way to meet him. He smiled, thinking about all the rain idioms he would teach them while they were here. They would soon learn that rain in the UK was more than just weather. As John walked back home, he thought about the last idiom he wanted to share with his cousins, raining cats and dogs. It meant that it was raining very heavily, but it had nothing to do with real cats or dogs. It was just a funny way to say it was raining a lot. John remembered the first time he heard this idiom as a child. He imagined cats and dogs falling from the sky and laughed. Now, it was one of his favorite sayings. He used it every time there was a heavy downpour, like the one earlier that day. As he arrived home, the rain started again. John looked up at the sky and smiled. Raining cats and dogs, he whispered to himself. He grabbed his umbrella and waited for his cousins to arrive. They would see the famous UK rain soon enough. John's cousins finally arrived, and after a quick hug, they looked up at the sky. Wow, you weren't kidding about the rain, Paul said laughing. Emily added, it really is raining cats and dogs. They all laughed as they hurried inside to escape the downpour. Inside, they sat down and warmed up with some tea. You know, John said, here in the UK, we don't just talk about rain when it's falling. We use rain in many different ways to describe life. His cousins looked curious. Like what? They asked. Inside, they sat down and warmed up with some tea. You know, John said, here in the UK, we don't just talk about rain when it's fell. John began to explain the rain idioms he had been thinking about all day. Come rain or shine, he said, means you will do something no matter what happens. It doesn't matter if it's raining or sunny, you'll do it anyway. His cousins nodded, listening closely. Ling, we use rain in many different ways to describe life. His cousins looked curious. Like what? They asked. John continued, there's also it never rains but it pours. This one means that when one bad thing happens, more bad things often follow. It's like when life throws a lot of problems at you all at once. Paul nodded. That sounds like a rough day. John laughed. Yeah, but we also say save it for a rainy day, which means to save money or something important for the future when you might need it. My mom used to say it all the time. Emily smiled. That's really good advice. John went on. And then there's right as rain. This one means feeling good and healthy. If someone is sick but getting better, they might say I'll be right as rain soon. It has nothing to do with real rain, but it's a common phrase. <laughs> Emily asked, what about when you can't do something right now but want to later? John nodded. Ah, that's when you say take a rain check. It's like saying not today, but maybe another time. It's a polite way to postpone plans. Paul laughed. That's useful. 
I'll definitely use that one. John smiled. There's one more rain on someone's parade. It means to spoil someone's fun or plans. If you tell someone bad news when they are happy, you are raining on their parade. Paul thought about it for a second. So if I tell someone something sad when they are happy, I'm raining on their parade? John nodded. Exactly. It's like ruining their fun. Emily smiled. I like that one. It's funny, but it makes sense. They all laughed and continued talking. The rain outside slowed down again, but John knew it would return soon. Well, I think we've covered all the rain idioms for today, John said. But now, we have to get ready for tomorrow's plans. As they sat there, John realized that learning English could be fun, especially with idioms like these. He smiled. By reading stories like this, we can learn new words and idioms while having fun. Paul and Emily agreed. John continued, English idioms can be tricky, but with practice, you will sound more like a native speaker. And you also learn about culture, like we did today with rain idioms. Emily nodded. I think I learned a lot today. Paul added, Yeah, it's cool how language and culture mix like that. And now, I feel more confident using these idioms. John smiled. That's the power of stories. You learn English and culture together in a fun way. John finished his tea and stood up. Well, I'm glad you both enjoyed learning. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more fun stories. Come rain or shine, we'll have more to teach you. They all laughed, feeling excited for their next adventure.